Hey, just thought I'd make a video on some of the kicks that I picked up within the past three or four months. So, here they are. First one isn't too exciting, but I run a lot. This is the Mizuno Wave Inspire 6. I ran today, I ran about 10 miles in about 68, 69 minutes in these. Someone recommended Mizuno to me. I've never worn Mizuno before, but they were pretty comfortable. So I was happy with these. I love these. These are the Reebok BB4600s. They came out in the mid-80s. These are not the originals. I have a couple of pairs of the originals, but these came out probably five to eight years ago. Just really like the vintage design, the big tongue, and this big padded collar. I love it. So. After Reebok released the original BB4600, they released the BB4600 Ultra High. I don't like these as much, but they're it's a really clean design, and it seems to be a really nice upper and a really sturdy shoe. It's mostly white, and a little bit of gray on the sole. It's really clean, so I, they were the right price, so I picked them up. Next we've got the Nike Court Force Low. They're alright. <clears throat> They're brand new. Um, there is some there's some aging of the tongue. The the stuff on the tongue is kind of flaking off. I thought about changing out some of the colors here, changing this white to I don't know, something else. <laughs> Obviously. And maybe taking this part of the midsole and making it a different color as well. Or maybe this little part here. I don't know. When I get around to it, I'll probably do something with them. I don't know. Next, I have the, and these are women's, but I don't care, Nike Shox TLX in white liquid lime and metallic silver. I like Shox. They're not great for running, in my opinion, but I like the design a lot worn them a bunch of times already and this material the upper here whatever it is synthetic something is really really easy to clean I was pleasantly surprised so just a cool shoe I think I was looking for this colorway for a long time in my size and they, they just couldn't find it anywhere so I went for half a size larger and so they're a little big I'm usually a seven and a half in Reeboks, but this is an 8, and it's the Reverse Jam Low in laser pink, yellow, white, and black. It's a really bright shoe, of course. Um, <laughs> I really like the design. The originals came out in the early 90s, and then a couple of years ago, they re-released them in the, the higher version. I guess they're kind of, I would consider them mids, the mid-top ones, and these are the low-top ones. Again, another classic design. Really like them. And then a pair of Reebok CXT2 mids, or CXT Plus 2 mids, in white, black, and what looks to be Incredible Hulk. It actually says Incredible Hulk. Or INC Hulk. I'm guessing INC is for Incredible. And I guess it is kind of the Hulk green. These are cross-training shoes. I'm guessing they came out in the early 90s. It's so again a classic Reebok design, especially with the toe box. And I would consider these to be, um, yeah, mids, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I like them. Then I got these dunks, white, red, and blue. It says white, rapid, varsity, red, blah, blah, something. Red, white, and blue. Um, just a cool colorway, so I just figured I'd get them. And along with those from the same seller, I got this, the Nike Dunk High LE, black and bright goldenrod. I've seen these around, and I really wanted this colorway, couldn't find them, 
Um, so I settled for this slightly used pair. And what I really like about these older dunks is that inside here, the padding is really, really soft. It's ridiculously soft and comfortable. The new ones, they're not comfortable. They give me a lot of blisters, and I don't know what the material is, but it's 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 not it's not sexy. <laughs> but these are cool. These are sexy. So I'm gonna wear those. Continue to wear them. Let's see, I'll go with these, because it's the next one in the pile. The Nike Air Force High in white, and I'm guessing is natural gray. And these came out, <clears throat> original box here, original tags. But these came out in what appears to be 87, 1987. I was five years old. So they look like Air Force Twos very similar design <laughs> original tags and stuff like that never been worn, never been laced up they come with the anatomical art supports I remember when they used to put these in every box I don't even know if these are good anymore and they come with this nice little booklet about your shoes um, about the construction of the shoe, and then there's a little piece about care instructions. Next one, I really wanted a pair of these when I was a kid, but they were way too expensive. My parents were not going to spend that much money on shoes. They are the Reebok Shack Attack Pumps from 1993. I hope they re-release these in 2013, because that would be the 20th uh, anniversary, 20 year anniversary of these shoes. They look kind of worn, but you look at the sole, and it's basically brand new. Problem here is yellowing in the uh, midsole, and uh, yeah, uh, a hardening of the, the sole, the rubber sole. If anyone out there knows how to fix that, so that I can get the rubber soft again and flexible please tell me because until then I really can't wear them because they're almost dangerous because you slip and slide around in these especially on wooden floors or, or or any kind of smooth surface but until then I'll just probably restore them a little bit and get them nice and white like these which I bought a few months before those. I've repainted the midsole so it's nice and white. Again, same problem with the sole. It's hard and I really can't wear them until then. The pumps still work. These are really cool shoes. Um, Reebok, please re-release them. I found these gems, the Reebok SXT2 pumps. And these came out in the early 90s. This really cool pump still work, uh, cross training shoe. If you were around back then, you might remember these. Again, especially with these, the sole is really hard. Can't really walk in them. I've tried several things, nothing's worked. So please, if you know, if you have any tricks for making the rubber sole soft and flexible again, please tell me. I uh, don't know anything about the movie, never saw the movie, either the original or the remake, don't really care. But I do like Reebok Court Victory Pumps. And these are the Tron Edition Pumps, Court Victory Pumps. And I read somewhere that they glow in the dark, and then I asked some people that owned them and they said they don't glow in the dark. So I said I have to find out for myself, got these at a really good price. Now these are supposed to glow wherever you see blue, basically. So over here where the pump is, on the tongue where you got that blue design, where it says tennis, Reebok, you've got this strip here. Um, the back design where it says hexalite and the entire sole. The problem is you've really got to expose these to light 
for a long period of time if you want them to glow at all. And they don't glow that strong. If you have the glow-in-the-dark um, Nikes, any kind of glow-in-the-dark Nikes, they glow. These don't glow as bright. They do glow a little bit, and it is a blue. It's a nice blue, and it's a really cool design in the dark when they do glow. But you've got to expose them to light for what seems like forever. And they only glow for about, I would say, 10 minutes. Come with these blue laces as well. And if you're interested in buying a pair, I would go up half a size, because they are kind of snug. And sticking with the glow-in-the-dark theme, I got these Nike New Air Force 180 mids in anthracite and vibrant yellow. <clears throat> these originally, when they came out in the 90s, the early 90s, had a pump mechanism on the top, which added a few more inches in height. And they were, along with, I think it was one or two other Nike models, Nike's answer to the Reebok pump, which I also love. However, they did not include the pump on these shoes. I don't know if it was for legal reasons with the Reebok, or because they thought that was just kind of outdated technology and a silly gimmick, and maybe it wouldn't sell. Maybe they thought the shoe would be too high to appeal to people in this day and age. I was a little disappointed that they didn't have the pump, but still a nice looking shoe, and it glows in the dark. Any light color you see here, not the anthracite, but the vibrant yellow, um, glows in the dark. So the inside of the collar here, the inside of the tongue, on the tongue where it says force, the Nike symbol here, the swoosh, 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 whatever it is. Uh, let's see here, the t um, <clears throat> in back of this tab, as well as the midsole here. But the midsole does not glow as bright as the rest of the vibrant yellow does on the shoe, but still a cool shoe, especially in the dark. And it doesn't take a lot of light to get these to glow. I'll try to show you. You can see I've exposed this one to some light. You can see it's kind of glowing a little bit, a little bit more than this one, which hasn't been exposed to light, just took this one out of the box. So glow, no glow. You can kind of see, hopefully, the difference. And I like those shoes so much that I decided to get a pair of these. Same thing, the uh, Air Force 180 mids in white, black, wolf gray, and blue emerald. These are more along uh, the lines of the original as far as the colorway, but again, you don't have the original pump on the top. Still a really nice shoe, nice design. When these came out, I really wanted a pair, but I had to work that day. I couldn't make it to the store. Couldn't get them. Finally found them. So the Jordan 12s, the playoff ones, in white and black. Glad I found them. Last but not least, I've been looking for these forever. Couldn't find them. Called a bunch of different stores. Nobody had them. I called the Tyson's Corner Mall in Virginia. They said they didn't have them. Didn't believe them. So I went there myself and I asked. And they did have them. And they are the Adidas Jeremy Scott Wings 2.0. You can see, of course, one is white and red with the stripes. One is blue with white stars for the American flag, of course. Really cool shoes. If you want to get these, go half a size up and in the back they've got laces so you can adjust the wings if you tie it up tight the wings are drawn in close if not they kind of flare out a little bit 